As part of our ongoing series of nature discussions, Uncle Polly will now discuss the cicadas. How you doing? Polly Gentoli. And I'm going to talk about cicadas, right? What are they? Well, they're these butt fugly insects, right, that live in the ground for 17 years. And then they all pop out at once and they climb the nearest tree, waiting for another cicada to come along and do them. And then they die. And somewhere in there, they lay a bunch of eggs that live in the ground for another 17 years so that they can do the whole thing over again. And that is the cicada circle of life. And the question is, what the fuck? Am I right? What kind of lifestyle, life circle is this? They live in the ground for 17 years and then they pop out just to mate and die. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's worth it to me. It's not a really, you know, they didn't think this thing through. Cicadas. I mean, what kind of life? Is it to be a cicada? You know, it's one spring break and then that's it. You're dead. So I don't know. I don't think it's really worth it. It'd be like, you know, if I were in a coma for 17 years and, and as soon as I got out, I mean, don't get me wrong. If I were in a coma for 17 years, the first thing I'd want to do when I get out is get it on. Probably not, though, with someone who also just got out of a coma after 17 years. But I don't know. Who knows? But to say, all right, yeah, you got out, you made it. You're out of the coma. You've been there for 17 years. I mean, who knows how much money we spent keeping you alive in the hospital or whatever. You know, maybe you were just in the back room, but you're in a coma. And you get out, and then you do it, and then you're dead. And it's like, I don't know. Maybe I should have stayed in the coma. You know, it makes me uh, think about, like, the Matrix. You know, they're in the Matrix for years, and then they get out to fight the machines and die. It's like, you know what? Let's let the machines win this one, you know? Leave me in the Matrix. You know, I'm with Cypher. You know, I can be in the Matrix, I can, uh, I can eat steak and go to a baseball game. What, and the alternative is, you know, you're in Zion, which is in a sewer, right? And, you know, maybe they have like that multicultural orgy rave. It, I didn't get the impression they were doing that every Saturday night, though. So it was like a special occasion. The most of the time, you're just sitting around waiting for the machines to kill you. So I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's worth it, you know? Stay in the Matrix. It's, it's much better, right? You can, uh, anyway, so... The cicada, that's, that's their lifestyle. That's their whole circle, uh, which, you know, it seems screwy to me, okay? Here's the other thing about cicadas, right? I mean, they, this is the ugliest bug that I can think of, okay? They got these big red bug eyes, right? And they, they, they're flying around. It's a slow flying insect that looks like a cat turd with wings. And, uh, and it's all black and it's got some orange, but it's the worst orange, right? It's like a 1970s orange. It's like the color of the unhealthiest person's urine, right? I mean, the, the cicadas, it's got nothing going on. There's nothing good about this bug. It's pretty awful. You know, if you put me in the matrix, I'd tell the machines, look, put me in the matrix and, uh, and write a program so there's no cicadas and, and so there's no tarantulas either. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. And, uh, and I would sell out the human race. I'd say, here's the map to Zion. Go get them. They're probably having a rave orgy. Uh, they'll never see it coming. And then leave me in the matrix because... Forget about this other thing. I don't, you know, I don't know. But yeah, you got trillions of these things coming out, right? So here's what, here's the thing. Here's the thing about these things. You get one, one of them slow ones flying up right in your face, and it makes this sound like, ah, right? It's like the worst sound. It's like, you know, you got birds, and you got, you know, some insects make, you know, sounds that you get used to or whatever, but that cicada sound, ah, it's, you know, it sounds like you got the wrong answer on the family feud. And so, and you got a trillion of them doing it. But the weird thing about it is, you got the, uh, up close you got the sound, but then the far off sound, it sounds like, like phasers from Star Trek, right? It sounds like this, it's, you know, it's almost this soothing, albeit eerie sound in the distance. So what I can't figure out is how do you get to that sound from a trillion bugs all going ah! at the same time? I, how does, you know, what well, is a disconnect for me? I got to talk to like a... Uh, uh, an audio expert, like a Dolbyologist or something, to kind of circle that square for me, because I don't, I don't make any sense. So that's cicadas. Uh, 17 years of living in the ground, waiting to pop out, do it and die. Okay? I mean, I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. And then you, now we got all these carcasses everywhere. You know, you can't take your dog for a walk. They're trying to eat the dead cicadas, and you're like, don't eat that. You, you know, you lick me with that tongue. I don't want none of it. I don't want none of it, these damn cicadas and tarantulas. I don't like them. We don't really have them around here. Uh, but it's why, you know, I'm not going to go move into the desert or the jungle. That's where you see the tarantulas. But here, you know, we're in the suburbs and we got cicadas, right? 
only every 17 years, but crime in Italy, you know what I'm saying? This is crazy. You walk outside and all the ant coming at you, you just want to just, you just want to go into a coma and say, leave me in here until all the cicadas are gone. And somebody sweeps it up because it's like walking around. It's like that scene from uh, Temple of Doom. They're walking on cicadas. You know what? Forget it. You can, uh, you can, you can keep them. I don't need them. So there you go. Everything you'd ever, never wanted to know about cicadas, all in one video. You're welcome.